Who do you think tried to take you out? So, so I'm going to give you some big breaking news, right? Love that. Because you're, I know the kind of show and it's entertainment, but it's also very serious. I mean, I, I get the whole picture. <laughs> and you know what? If it was just funny stuff, you wouldn't have the success you've got, to be honest with you, yeah. right? Yeah. It's nice to intersperse it, but uh, I'll give you something. So, first of all, I have great respect for the Secret Service. And the guys that were with me, I went down and I did a good job going down because those bullets were winging over my head. If I would have been up for another couple of seconds, <laughs> yeah. I also wouldn't have been there. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't consider that as lucky as turning to the right at that one, it was like one sixteenth of a second yeah. was the only time that yeah. I was yeah. safe, essentially. Right. If I would have gone a little further, I would have been hit. If I would have gone not as far, I would have been hit. I mean, I had like a, this little tiny moment. And the amazing thing is the sign is always on my left and it's always at the end. And I only use it 20% of the time, maybe even less than that. And this, this was time a, a it's chart. On the right. This was a chart on immigration because yeah. I have the record. I did a great job in immigration. They are not doing too well right now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, stay on the breaking news. Stay on the breaking news. So here's the breaking news. So, so you have this shooter and you have another shooter, right? Yeah. So this shooter had uh, three or so f cell phones. Mm. The FBI's never gotten them opened. Wow. The other shooter, three apps, they call them, and I believe they were foreign-based apps, from what I understand. Oh, wow. They haven't opened them, and they're foreign-based. And you know, you hear all about Iran, because I was rough with Iran, but I want to see Iran do great. I want to see Iran do great. Yeah. But uh, I want to stop all the killing and all right. this, and, and uh, I was rough on Iran, and they supposedly have a hit on me. In fact, I think it takes great courage for you people to be interviewing me, because it could be now, you know? Yeah. Well, we didn't know right that now. before we got in here. No, before. if you would have known that, you might not have <laughs> yeah. done this. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. Secret service. In fact, we'll this is you. a good way of me getting the interview to be short. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, he's going to say, you know, okay, that's it. Thank you very much, yeah. ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Yeah. Yeah. Go see my great. daughter. Yeah. 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 They have three apps, and foreign-based, two of them, maybe three of them are foreign-based. They wow. haven't opened them yet. Why wouldn't you open them when you hear about Iran or when you hear about, you know, foreign... Then the other one had six cell phones and they haven't opened. Now, you know, it's very hard to open a cell phone. Only Apple can do it in theory, unless you have somebody. But they had no problem getting the J6 people's cell phones open. They opened their cell phones very quickly. You know, we have two countries in a way. What's happening here is very bad, it's very dangerous. We almost had one because I had the greatest economy in the history of our country and people were coming together. We almost had one. But we really do have two right now, and it's a shame because I think we'll get them together. Success will bring us together. But they should get those phones opened. And, you know, when there's an assassination attempt on a former president who's now, I'm proud to say, leading in all the polls against the Democrat, I don't know which one is running. You know, you don't know what the hell's going on. I'm the only one that had to run against two. I run against two Democrats. But uh, this is a first. We, do, we create a lot of firsts. Usually you run against somebody. Here I run. I had the debate. I was way up on him. Yeah. And then they say, oh, let's put... So this is like with Dana White, a fighter. So you're fighting, <laughs> and the one guy's getting killed, and they say, oh, that's okay. Let's put in another fighter in. to finish it yeah. off. Okay? Yeah. And you're fighting. You say, hey, wait a minute. I have a brand new fighter in here. Yeah. WWE. I spent $150 million on beating Biden, and then all of a sudden I hear that they're going to overthrow him. It was, a, it was a coup. I yeah. mean, it really was. But I would like them to... Uh, to open up these apps and find out what's in there. And so he had six, six cell phones. Who has six cell phones? Mm -hmm. Having six cell phones is weird. I have cell phones. If I ever have two, it's like a lot. Yeah. He had six cell phones. Why does he have them? And why haven't they opened up those cell phones? So if, if you had and, to And guess. it's different. You know, if you're a drug dealer, I think it's terrible in many ways, but I guess from another standpoint, Apple, the primary group, uh, people buy those phones because they will never open them for right. any reason. Hmm. But uh, they got them open on J6. You know, they opened up their phones, but they don't open. And this is big stuff. This is an assassination attempt. And it could involve other countries. Right? There was that San Bernardino shooter that they hacked. The FBI was able to hack into the phone. Apple didn't give it up, but they were There able to are hack some in. people in the world, very few, that can that have an ability to sometimes be able to hack in. Got it. Very rarely, actually. Yeah. It's an amazing thing when you think that with all the genius, you almost can't do it. But Apple has a key. 
And the uh, key is, op- I mean, it just, they can do it immediately. Yeah. But they don't do it. And mm-hmm. they don't do it. And that's one of the reasons that, like, I hate to say it, drug lords feel very confident that they'll never be exposed. Mm-hmm. And they use their cell right. phones, their Apple phones, and maybe it's that way with other companies. I don't know. They have Samsung. They have other companies. Mm-hmm. But it's uh, very hard. Apple's very strong on that. But when it comes to the assassination of a president, leading candidate, former president, all that, I think the rules have to go out and they have to open those things and they have Mm -hmm. to find out. Hmm. And In in, in terms of national security. Some people would say you have to either punish Apple or you have to get somebody that can do it. But in terms of national security, so the one guy has six phones, lots of messages to people. Who are those people he's calling when he's hiding behind a bush? So if you had to guess, I'm sure you thought, obviously you've thought about this a lot. It's an assassination attempt. If you had to guess, who do you think is responsible? These are great questions. What <laughs> the hell? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I don't get these questions from the fake news. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rosie O'Donnell's like, not asking like this. Like Deface the Nation. <laughs> yeah. They have the woman on Deface, Brennan. She's on Deface the Nation. She was terrible with, with uh, you know, the way she handled uh, J.D. Vance, who did a great job the yeah. other night. He but, did you know, a job. But I don't get questions like that. For you. Did you ever hear of the show? Deface, ladies and gentlemen, it's Donald Trump on Deface the Nation. <laughs> it's called Face the Nation. They hate me. No, I've they, no. Spend, they spend was, millions of like, dollars. They would name a show that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I see. They spend, oh, you didn't hear of it. That's good. They spend millions of dollars on the name C- CBS. Yeah. And then I come along and I say to face the, it's Face the Nation. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Not Very, yeah. Or meet the fake press. Yeah. You know, meet the press. You're yeah. good at this. I say meet the fake press. Yeah. <laughs> and they spend all this money, and then I say it once, and it goes to millions of people. Yeah. But no, they are fake. <laughs> but some of these questions, some of these questions are much better. Well, thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. I'm honored. Much better. But you so still have an answer, though. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best dodge uh, yeah. in the question. Yeah. That was almost. Is that your I'm, second best you know dodge in your life? You almost charmed <laughs> us out of it. I'm trying to get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, fair uh, enough. Well, look, if you look at assassinations or attempts. First of all, you realize I'm in a very dangerous business. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because one one-tenth, think of this, one-tenth of one percent of auto races die. Yep. Mm. Bull riders. I think that's pretty dangerous, yeah. right? Yeah. I don't know much about it, but I think it's, I, I wouldn't want to be on one of those suckers. No. Yeah. I see them flying off and the hoof is like an inch from the eye, and when it hits the eye, you're gone, Game right? Over. Yeah. And they are very, well, it's about the same. One tenth of one percent. Yeah. And other things, it's never much more than that. That's sort of maxed out, I think. You know, yeah. race car drivers, bull riders, I think that's pretty much tough. Yeah. Uh, UFC fighters, it's none. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't think anyone's ever actually- Not in UFC, in, in MMA or boxing. Maybe, I mean, it must was be. those tragic events, it, yeah. Amazingly, boxers die a lot. But UFC, Dana tells me it's a safe sport. I say, I, to me, it's much rougher. But, you know, it's pretty amazing. They've never, in UFC, they've yeah. never lost. And they, they run a great operation. They've never, nobody's died. But with presidents, it's like a substantial percentage. Way higher than we realize, when you yeah. look at Lincoln and Kennedy and this and that. I mean, attempts, you go Reagan. through uh, yeah. McKinley. Yep. Garfield. Uh, you look at a, a lot of people. I'm yeah. in a very dangerous. Dangerous business. Profession. Yeah. 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 I call it a profession. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. A like dangerous that. profession. I like that. I'm sitting with you guys. You have a very nice, safe life. Me? Yeah. It's, it's so, no, if you said 5%. <laughs> I think no. he called us soft. No, yeah. but think I'm of it. That. <laughs> yeah, but think of it 5%. Yeah. That's a lot. That's yeah. high. That's a lot. And I think, yeah, I think even the attempts is something like attempts, 25% yeah. of presidents have had Attempts is, is getting attempt. into a really it's crazy you number. Know, so, uh, people don't think of that. You know, you run and you see, and then you win, and you're down Pennsylvania, and you're looking at everything. So, you got a, you're well, in a dangerous, dangerous place. Yeah. And uh, so it's one of those things. I was saying before, though, that, you know, I do a thing called a weave. Yeah. And there are those that are fair that say, this guy is so genius. And then others would say, oh, he rambled. I don't ramble. If I, I saw the story, yeah. what you do is you weave things and you do it. <laughs> <laughs> you have to have certain things. You need an, you need an extraordinary memory because you have to come back to where you started. Yes. You always, a weave is only good they if you come back. They would give you credit back. for that. That's <laughs> yeah, true. That you could go no. all the way over here and then I get back. I can go so far here or there. <laughs> and I can come back to exactly where I started. Now, someday when you don't come back to where you started, you're Biden. Then and you're you say, <laughs> then you, then you, no, but the weave is the way. When you're telling, like a story, I was telling a story at a rally the other day in front of thousands of people, and I started off, and then you were weaving something in the story. Yeah. I actually mentioned Air Force One. 
It was Air Force One was there. So I mentioned Air Force One, and then I said how I got $1.6 billion off the price of Air Force One. So, but then you have to come back to the story. Where was Air Force One taken? You As so anyway, saying. I yeah. do a weave. I call it the weave. And <laughs> some people think it's so genius, but the bad people, what they say is, you know, he was rambling. Yeah. It's not a ramble. There's no rambling. This is a with weave. Me. This is a weave. So we, I call yeah, it the yeah, weave. Yeah. Good name. I'm not sure. That's another name. We had fake news. Yeah, we came yeah. up with lots of names. Yeah. yeah. But uh, the weave is, I think we should make yeah. the weave a yeah. part of that yeah. uh, stable. Yeah, you, yeah, you really weaned right answering my question twice. Really yeah. Yeah. That's brilliant. So, I, I don't I, even want to know the answer yeah. anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep weaving. I lost it. We'll, we'll, we'll weave back. Yeah. Let's weave back to his question. Okay. Yeah. Because this is, where it, this is where it started. So we'll weave back to his question. Uh, so uh, I, I sort of hate answering it because yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to give... Uh, any false identities. I don't okay. want to do anything having to do with creating something that isn't there. Mm -hmm. uh, you would look at Iran. Iran has an open threat out for me, right. and that's bad. And Biden, if he were a real president, if he were uh, uh, the kind of guy he should be, yeah. mm -hmm. should say, if anybody shoots a former president who's now the leading candidate, Valid. even though he's lead leading against Democrats, uh, we will bomb that country into oblivion mm. and it would stop mm -hmm. and that's been said before with some people you know there have been people I, I won't go into it but there have been people that have been threatened in another party even mm. uh, in the same party it, it makes sense and probably happens pretty quickly but yeah. in another party you know it's hard for them to mm -hmm. to cross the, the to line to want to protect me yeah but it shouldn't be hard uh, other people have protected other people and what you have to inform those people is if they do it, the country will be blown to smithereens. The entire country will be blown to smithereens. And those threats go away because that's a really bad threat yeah. for a country. Forget about me. I'm an individual. But I represent something very important. It's true. That's a really terrible threat. Yeah. So, I mean, there are others that could be in that category. Look, I took in hundreds of billions of dollars from China hmm. uh, at a level that no president, no president took in anything. I had tariffs on China, took in hundreds of billions of dollars. They're still there. Mm. That without me, they wouldn't have those tariffs on. Mm -hmm. So you could say, but no, I, I think Iran would be the one. Mm. 